Welcome back. Well, some fun events are coming up over at Wildlife Prairie Park, and our friend Adrian Bauer is here to tell us all about it. And she brought a little friend, if you can tell, I'm talking a little quietly this morning. She's got that great hearing. Who do we have here, Adrian? This is Jessie, and she is a barn owl. Um, they're not super common around here. They're threatened, so you may not see them in your backyard, but it's a possibility. Yeah, they are kind of rare. Uh, you mentioned her hearing is just incredible. Kind of tell me more about that. Yeah, um, so Jesse can hear a mouse's heartbeat um, about a football field way up to under six inches of snow. That's crazy, that's crazy. You mentioned maybe uh, her vision's not really as good anymore. Kind of what, how do you guys kind of care for these types of birds at Wildlife Prairie Park? So they get um, beak and uh, talon trims, so they get their little beak and pedicure every now and then. Um, they go to the vet at least once a year, sometimes more frequently. Um, they get fed every day, and we make sure that they go outside for walks, or they at least get to spend some time outside in a yard. So you guys got some cool events coming up uh, in the next couple of weeks, months. What do you guys got coming up? Um, so in June, we have a couple of races that are going to be happening. So on um, June 12th, we have the Mountus Illinois um, Wilds Triathlon or Dual Athlon. And June 13th, we have a Pamba race as well. Wow, that sounds very cool. <laughs> Anything else kind of going on over at the park that you guys are doing daily, weekly, weekends? What do you guys got going on? We have uh, daily public programs and so uh, you can check out the list of all those programs and come out on the weekends and after Memorial Day they go daily. So we've always got um, some kind of a program with animals for everybody. Well that's awesome. So she's a barn owl, not yes. very common here. Any kind of fun facts you got for us just about barn owls and different things that they've got? Yeah, um, so Jessie's ears are not actually directly across her head like ours. One is a little bit lower and one is a little bit higher and that's just so she can hear all the way around. Wow, that's so cool. <laughs> She's got to get a little a little movement here. She's she is. She's stomping her feet um, every now and then. So she's just kind of letting me know um, she's not super happy about being on camera today. <laughs> <laughs> At least she hasn't like seen herself on the cameras yet and gotten confused. Right. But you mentioned she's kind of a diva a little bit. A, a little bit. Um, Jessie does let us know when she's happy or when she's upset. Um, and if we trip in the classroom, she will actually laugh at us. <laughs> you mentioned if she got like really upset, she'd probably scream, right? She does, yes. Um, they actually are known as the owl that doesn't give a hoot because they don't make a hoot. They make a, a cackle or a scream. Well, that's awesome. <laughs> well, she hasn't screamed here, so we must be doing something right. Adrian Bauer, Jesse, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you. And we will share more information on our website, ciproud.com.